Hi guys, welcome back to Queenie's Radio Podcast. Today I come to you with a very sad story that has been floating on our social media, on Twitter, on YouTube, everywhere. This story has, has went viral, even it's on the news right now, about this 25-year-old girl from um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Her name is Shaquilla Robinson. I hope I said it right. Excuse me if I said it wrong, but I, think, I believe her name is Shaquilla Robinson. But this young lady has been tragically uh, murdered by friends on a trip to Cabo to Mexico. So I'm going to get right into the story. And the reason why I want to talk about this story, I want to spread awareness of, you know, be careful of those who you consider friends because they might not necessarily be um, friends. They may be your enemies that's close to you. This story has touched my my spirit, and I want to speak on it because I can relate to having a bunch of friends that just, was just jealous and just, you know, made up things about me that wasn't true or just they just didn't want to see me succeed. So I had to let those friends out of my life go. This girl went on a trip with a group of friends who she thought she knew, and she thought that, you know, I can't say really who she thought, but. I'm pretty sure she was familiar with these friends and she didn't think that she would be harmed because she would never went on a trip with them. So she went to Cabo <clears throat> with a group of friends. I believe it was like three girls and one guy. And um, I believe the guy was gay. Not to just call out that he was gay, but, you know, they said that he was gay. And I'm going to get to um, why I point that out about, you know, him being gay. <laughs> So she went on this trip. They said not within 24 hours, the girl was already gone. She was dead. One of the friends named um, Denaja, I believe her name was Denaja. If I'm not saying it right, y'all correct me. She was the one who brutally beaten her. She broke her neck, broke her spine, and trauma force to the head. And the guy friend was like, you're not going to fight back. Maybe the girl didn't want to fight back. I don't know how the fight started or what promoted the fight. We all don't know that part of the story. All I know is this girl was 25 years old. She was very young. And her life is tragically going by some fake friends that just beat her and, and took her life away. And the bad thing, the sad thing about this story is they tell her mother that she was uh, alcohol poisoned. This is like the saddest story. It's just, it's. I feel like the world is, it's just getting worse. It's just getting evil. It's just like you can't trust people no more. It's just like you gotta stay to yourself because it's like you can't even trust family sometimes. Like it's just hard to trust people nowadays, even family. Because I heard this other story, and not to get off her story, but I heard this other story about this young teenager who mom and dad killed her. So it's just like, what the heck is going on in this world today? And I just wanted to talk about this story because I just want people to know that you can really have people around you who really is not wishing the best for you or they don't, they don't like you. They just want to see you going out this world for no apparent reason. They just don't like you. They want don't want to see you succeed. They don't wish the best for you. And I was just talking to one of my uh, girls on Instagram because uh, I sent her the story and I was like I'm going to get on I'm going to get on um on my podcast I'm going to talk about this story <laughs> we both agree that's why we don't be around a lot of people or hang with a lot of girls because these girls nowadays are just <laughs> jealous and just envious and, and then you got the guys that's gay that's messy that's why I, I point out being him being gay he was messy because he's just standing there laughing. You laughing while she's fighting for her life, dying. Nobody would, nobody, what was y'all scared of her? Nobody broke the fight up. Y'all just sit there and let her get beat up to death. Oh my goodness. This is, this just made me so frustrated. And it's a black woman. And it's a video going around. People just, just sharing a video over and over and over again of this girl dying tragically in a hotel, in an Airbnb. She died in the Airbnb. They said it was some alcohol putting with us. What they told her friend. That's the lie story they came up with. But they all responsible for this girl death. And they all going to get charged. Watch what I tell you this. All of them that was in that room and did not help or didn't call uh, cops or nobody to. Y'all just let her get beat up like that by one girl. Or did y'all all, because her spine was broke. It makes me think <laughs> even scarier. Like, maybe they all jumped on her and... and, and <laughs> 
this is a crazy story. I just want to spread awareness and be careful of those who you have around you, that those that's in your circle, because they might not not necessarily be your friend. They may be posing as your friend. They might be getting close to you to whatever. Who knows what she was doing? Like, I don't really know the girl's career or, you know, what she was doing. I just know she was a young, a beautiful young lady who probably was, you know, had a lot to go in life. I don't know if she had kids. And that's another thing. Y'all just took somebody's daughter out this world, somebody's cousin, somebody's sister out this world. And that's just crazy. And that's not right. And I, ho- I-, I pray for justice for her. We all hope justice for her. So... I just thank you guys for um, tuning into this um, podcast, but I, I just needed to talk about this. Just be careful of who you call your friend, best friend, because some people will set you up and and they will set you up and have you killed, have you murdered. They could all have been a part of this. Who knows what really went down in that, what really went down in that um and that Airbnb, because we wasn't there, so we don't really know. We just know what's on the internet. We don't know what really happened. We just, I know that it was, a, it was a, a argument that broke out. Who knew they could have provoked her to an argument? Had a reason to say, oh, she did this, said this. We don't know what really happened. I just know somebody lost their life over some stupidness, over some jealous friends. And just, just be careful of your jealous friends. And um, please, 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 y'all, please let's fight for justice for her also you guys please follow me on this podcast i will be having more interesting topics to talk about i just want to get on here briefly and talk about that because it just troubled me in my spirit just knowing that me coming up and and not just necessarily me coming up just knowing what it's like to have a, a jealous friend or have somebody that around you that just just don't want to see you succeed or they don't want to see you make it <clears throat> and you just got to cut those friends off because if you don't you might end your life might end tragedy like her you can't have people around you that don't want to see you succeed this is so sad to my spirit and it's just crazy that um people out here like this doing stuff like this and don't and want to hurt this girl harm this girl take her out of this world you didn't bring her in this world. You don't have the right to take her out of this world. And um, I'm just saying, y'all, spread the awareness. Be cautious. Really know that that's your friend that you're around. I'm not saying that everybody's friend is going to kill them. But I'm just saying you can have friends around you that don't want to see you succeed. So really trust and know that this is your friend. Because if they're not your friend, they, they're going to do <laughs> anything. You see what happened to her. That's what I'm saying. Just, you know, always be mindful of those around you. And I'm always like that. That's why I don't have many friends <laughs> for a reason. For a reason, though. <laughs> like Summer Walker said, for a reason, though. That's why I don't have many friends because <laughs> this is this is crazy. Um, thank you guys for tuning in Queenie's Radio Podcast. And um, y'all stay tuned for another update.